Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. This video we're going to work on checking trig identities using our calculator. And this works for either a TI-83 or an 84, both of them work out great. So the idea is that maybe you're working with a trigonometric expression and you're working to simplify it. And as you know, the process can take quite a while and involve lots of work. And when you're done, sometimes you look at your answer and you say, well, I, I don't know if this is right or wrong. I, I might have made a small mistake along the way. So you can actually use your calculator to check whether that identity that you came up with is true or not uh, by using the logic functions. So let me show you how this works with a really quick example and then get into some other examples. So in the calculator, if you use the logic functions, it will give you a one if it is true and it will give you a zero if it is false. So for example, let's say I'm dealing with this nice Pythagorean identity. Uh, this identity says sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x is equal to 1. And of course we know that it is true. Uh, but you know, maybe we're not quite sure and we can actually use the calculator to help us verify that it is indeed true. So watch how this works. I'm going to grab our calculator here real quick. And what you want to do is enter in one side of the equation here. So I'm going to type in sine uh, sine of x squared plus cosine of x squared. And then I'm going to find the equal sign in my catalog. So second catalog, there's lots of stuff in here. It's, it's all the, the features that the calculator can do. And if I scroll up, I will eventually find an equal sign. There we go. So I'm going to press enter and that's going to put it in with the rest of mine. So sine squared, cosine squared uh, equals, and now I type in one. And what I'm essentially asking the calculator is, uh, is this true? Is the left side equal to the right side? And when I press enter, of course, it gives me a value. One is corresponding to true. Now, let me go ahead and press second uh, enter so I can bring all that stuff that I typed in earlier. And watch what happens if I say, well, is this all equal to a different number? Is it all equal to five? Now it will return a zero saying, no, that that is not uh, the true identity. So you can do this uh, when working on some problems and really to check your work to see if you have the right identity or not. All right, let's take a few others and see how this works. So here I have a much more complicated um, uh, equation here. And I'm not really sure if this is true or not true. So I'm going to use my calculator to help out. So I'm going to type in the left side find the equal sign of my catalog, and then type in the right side. All right, let's go ahead and start over here. So for a secant, I have one divided by cosine of x minus one, close parentheses, that takes care of all that, multiplied by one divided by cosine of x plus one, close parentheses, so that takes care of all of that. Into my catalog, find my equal sign. There it is. So is it equal to tangent of x squared? All right, everything's typed in. It looks like it's given me a one saying that, yes, this is a true identity. We are good. All right, let's try the next one. Cosine of theta minus secant of theta equals tangent of theta multiplied by sine of theta. Again, maybe I went through some work simplifying. This is my answer. I'm not sure if it's true, and I just want to check it. So cosine of x minus one divided by uh, cosine of x is all of that equal. So second catalog. To tangent of x multiplied by sine of x. All right, this time it's returning a zero, and that's my indication that it is false. That is not a true identity. If that's really what I got for my answer, I'd want to go back and check all of my steps to make sure I, 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 you know, where my mistake is. Now, you'll notice that when I'm doing these, I haven't messed around with the mode whatsoever. In fact, my mode is in degrees right now. And when you're verifying identities like this, it doesn't really matter if you're in radians or degrees. Where it does make a difference, however, is when you're actually trying to verify key values. For example, let's go ahead and switch my mode over to radian and watch what happens when I try and verify a value of an angle. Let's go ahead and enter, second quit. 
so for example, maybe I'm trying to figure out what is the value of cosine of 90 degrees. And if I, if I know my angles really well, cosine of 90 degrees should equal zero. So second catalog, check my equal sign in here, equals zero. So this should be true. But when I try and have the calculator check it, it gives me a zero and it says this is false. And the reason why it's doing this is because currently it's in radian mode. So the way the calculator is interpreting this is cosine of 90 radians. Is that equal to zero? And of course the answer would be false. That, that is not true. Uh, so if you are verifying stuff like angles, you want to make sure that you're definitely in the correct mode. Let's switch it over to degrees again. Second so quit. And now when I try and verify, well, is cosine of 90 degrees equal to zero? Now the calculator will give me a yes, uh, a one that indicates, yes, that is true. Cosine of 90 degrees is zero. All right. Hopefully that helps out. It gives you another tool in your bag of tricks that you can use to help verify identities. And if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.